Wait, wait, wait. No, that's fire. Jeez. Use a sign? I mean, that could be cool to just start the idea. Yeah. Yeah, let's do like. Oh, you're one of them, man, who does it that way. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> With a <the> scale <laughs> highlight. Whenever anyone jumps on my computer and does it, I never know how to change it back. What do you mean? It's just like view, scale, turn okay, that cool. off. Okay, well, I know now. I want to come up with like a baseline first. Usually I do that. I kind of like this part. Yeah, I like this. I'm going to move it up. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Should I add like a top thing with this? Yeah, I, I mean, could just try it out. If not, we can just try it with a yeah, different zone. Because of the glide, I don't know. Well, then let's try and change this whole thing to a different sound to make it more suitable. Facts. This is fire. Yeah, I'll fuck with this. I'm not sure I feel about the third chord, though. Mm. Try and just build out a regular triad from that bass note. Yeah, let me see. And then just pull up, like, the A sharp. Fire, that, that's fire, fire, fire. fire. Just keep it the same. Don't don't add those two other notes. Yeah. And then don't have it for that last one. You can add like a different sound up here for the top. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of the benefits to bouncing it out? Just because you can manipulate it better. I can, yeah, I can do a lot of stuff with it. I've just been doing it for like, ever since the Eli course. I just kind of yeah. did it because he did it. I think what I'm going to do is, I want to have like another pad, like the Frank preset or something. Mm -hmm. In the background, lower the sample rate, but then take out like the high notes. Sick. Put it at like 10,000. I always drop so it down to like, like really low. It gets like bit crushy though. Let me see. Three. I usually do like two-ish if I'm doing vocals. Mm. Yeah, this is fire. I like this so far. Yeah, I probably. That's fire. I fuck with that. Yeah, I like that. I mess with that. Yeah, maybe what if I move it over? Fire. I want to add like one moment like that, like a texture, but like in the first two-ish bars. Yeah, right. I fuck with that. Send it over? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll flip it. Right. Let's pull it down. I like the idea of reverse. Let's see if I can piece it up a little bit better, though. That's a good first chord. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, that's fire. It has a different root. This is fine. Yeah. Like that shop. Yeah. Like crazy. I love this sound as well. I'm going to use your noxious bank. Do you have a favorite preset uh, in it? I like to turn down the mix a lot. Try coding crazy. Fire. I like using bus channels a lot when I'm making samples. I might just do like a roll speed type situation. That sounds hard. Yeah. Yeesh. Let's add a bass. It'd be wrong not to. Facts. What's your favorite bass in this? My favorite one's probably Lou Bell. Yeah, the Lou Bell one would work well in this, I think. Is that too low? I think keep the second one high. Yeah, cool. I always like using this preset for bases. I think it'd be cool to add like a little burst at the start of each chord. I think that could be cool when it's processed. Yeah. The feedback is fire. What else do you think it needs? Because I don't feel like it needs much more in terms of layers. Yeah, layers is good. I feel like top line, some kind of catchy melody. So it's not just chords, you know? Yeah. It could be cool to maybe have a bit more empty space as well, instead of all of it, like, constantly very spacey. Yeah, we can separate that. I think, let me try this one first. Yeah. I might have an idea for something. Yeah. This is Dawn, bro. Oh, Dude, that's like so that. done. That's so done, Tolliver. Yeah. That's fire. Fire. I 
Fire. You like it with that? Low key, keep that. Okay, bro. I feel yeah. like we just need to make a section where it's much less like spacey. Maybe add like a roads or something in the B section. Definitely. Yeah, Cause it's a little too spacey right now. We need like a key. And that's really the last sound it needs. I feel like. I don't think this needs that much. Ready? I think just the reverb. Cause I want to keep some top end in there. Cause the rest of the sample is kind of like, filtered. Yeah. And then we can keep that with maybe a couple of other elements in the background. Yeah. That could be cool underneath. And then another element comes in in the last four. Yeah. Yeah, so the first one's not gonna have the lead. The lead will just come in after the breakdown kind of thing. Oh, what could be cool maybe is to have the lead in here, but only have the bus channel playing. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. And maybe just have that for the second half of the first section. So it just comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's way more fire in the second one, mm. second section. Comes in at the end. Find a little drum loop as well for the second half. So this could be cool yeah. for just the lead, and then we could have everything coming in. Could even have the roads like filtered out for this section. Sounds like this. And then could just have it like yeah, yeah. quieter. I think also could be cool to just have this as an outro. Yeah, just roads. Just take out the lows and the highs. Mm -hmm. Just stick it sound quick. Yeah, that lead texture for the second half is sick. Yeah, fire.